So today, folks, I've got a special one for you that I've really been looking forward to. We are covering Simone and Zaghi's Internazionale system in FC24. So it's time to roll the intro and let's get stuck into this one. Right then, folks, my name's Ash or Brommer18. You'll be used to me replicating tactics on FC24, and this time around we're getting stuck into one that I'm really excited for in Zaghi's Inter tactics that have been just phenomenal for the past few years really since he did take over after Antonio Conte and we're going to get into it now. As always be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload and with that being said let's get into it. Let's talk about the position changes first and foremost. You're going to want this kind of 3-1-4-2 system um, and you are going to want to make a couple of tweaks to the base positions. First things first make sure that the wide centre backs are left and right central centre backs as these guys are going to be overlapping centre backs. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, later on next with the two central midfielders make sure that these are also right and left central midfielder we spoke about in the recent liverpool video that what it does is it gets them into the half channels and those half spaces more and that is going to help support these kind of wing backs to make sure they're not isolated and then finally the most important one of all with the two forwards you're going to want to actually change these guys to left forward and right forward this is a great job of replicating those hybrid wing roles particularly for marcus turam who will come into those wide areas more as that hybrid converted left-sided winger next up we do have the tactical instructions but before i do talk about that i quickly want to say if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all the other systems that we cover you want to get suitable teams to play as you want exclusive tactics videos like farioli's niece like Herrera, you want to get behind the scenes videos for all my scouting career and that sort of stuff do go and check out my patreon it is the best way to support the channel lots of fantastic perks on there not only the ones i've mentioned but more like discord server access and fantasy football access it is the thing that is keeping the channel alive all my patrons are keeping this going so i want to say a huge thank you to them if you guys are interested do go and check it out in the links below with regards to the tactical instructions then starting off with defensive style we have pressure on heavy touch and then the team width is on 20, making it nice and compact. The depth is on 70, giving you a high line. And then from an offensive style of play, we have the build-up on slow build-up and then the chance creation on forward runs. They like to exploit a lot of the space that they do create with that movement. The width is on 70, again, stretching it out to make sure that it is nice and wide. And then the players in the box is up to 6, giving you between roughly four to five players in the box on average. And then corners of free kicks, both of these are on four. But from a tactical instruction standpoint, then starting off with the goalkeeper, Jan Sommer in this case, he's on comes to crosses, but then he's saving outside the box. He's only on balance. He isn't that mo much of a mobile keeper in that regard. And then with the two centre-backs or the three centre-backs, what you want to do is you want to make sure that both of the wide centre-backs are actually on overlap. Now, how well this works in the game is up for debate and how well this has ever worked in the game is up for debate, but you do want to try and get them overlapping, particularly the likes of Bastoni as well, who does like to support those attacking moves, often gets into crossing positions and helps just to double up and help with the numerical um, situation for the left-sided wing-back. In terms of those wing-backs, obviously as midfielders in this case, you're going to have a bit more kind of control over their movement. So we've got them on comeback on defence, to get them tracking back make sure it forms a back five out of possession then the chance creation is on stay wide the support runs are on get in behind and then support and crosses is getting to the box of the cross and as i say this is the same for both sided wing backs as well with the defensive midfielder chalanolu in this case his defensive behavior is cut passing lanes and then his attacking ball is stay back whilst attacking cover center for defensive position and then positioning freedom is deep lying playmaker the two central midfielders in this case are both on the same instructions they're on balanced attack to make sure they're not constantly running in beyond the striker and then support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross both of them are on drift wide as they will drift into those half channels as we spoke about earlier to get them supporting and making sure that you're not at a numerical disadvantage in the wide areas and then the defensive position is on cover wing let's talk about the two forwards next then starting off with marcus turam in this case his support runs are on drift wide like to drift into those wide areas to peel away from the center back it's where he's at his most comfortable and then his attacking runs are on getting behind utilizing that pace his defensive support is on basic defense now with martinez you've got a slightly differing role his support runs are unbalanced uh, and then his attacking runs are false nine as he will often drop into midfield to pick up the ball um, and kind of help spring attacks going whereas him and turam 
complement each other really well uh, and then his defensive support is also on basic and so with that being said we're ready to round it off there if you found it helpful you want to see more subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications every time i upload don't forget most importantly to check out my patreon because that is the best way to support the channel and also you get lots of fantastic perks including seeing how this tactic ranks and rates as well as lots of exclusive tactics videos as well with that being said we are going to round it off there thank you so much for watching everyone and until the next one i will see you soon